Good morning, Hartsville Pike family and friends. You know, one of the sweetest sounds to the devil's ears and one that brings tears to God's eyes is to hear Christians complain, especially in our current situation with COVID and all the other problems around us. It's tempting to complain about everything that's going on. How often do we allow the little things in life to frustrate us and, and we find ourselves complaining? This morning, I found myself behind a trailer truck that was going very slow and obviously was trying to find a business. I was tempted to complain about the few seconds it was costing me rather than being thankful that I was sitting in a comfortable vehicle or driving on a nice road or the sunshine breaking through the fog. During that time, I also could have said a prayer for that truck driver that his day would go well and if he wasn't saved, that he would get to know Jesus Christ before it's too late. You know, when we complain, it tells God that we don't appreciate all that he's done for us. The children of Israel, after being delivered from 400 years of bondage, what they do? They murmured, they whined, complained, just like children. When we complain, we're showing God that we're really not growing into the image of Christ and we're continuing to act just like children. Notice what's said in Romans 121. Although they knew God, get that, although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts and their foolish hearts were darkened. Let's not be like the nine in the story of Jesus healing the 10 lepers where only one returned to say thank you. Today, let you and I recommit ourselves to the words of Paul in 1 Thessalonians 5:18. And this is a command in everything. Notice that word in everything. Give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Remember, God loves you. So let's all make it a wonderful day.